One of my fondest childhood memories was fishing with my granddad as a young boy of about five or six years of age around the entrance in New South Wales. We'd fish Tugra Lakes for flathead, brim and whiting and I loved fishing from the jetty. Well it's all coming back to me today as we wet a line from a similar jetty outside the fishing co-op at Evans Head on the New South Wales north coast. Young Grant is an Evans Head local who hailed from Lismore originally and has definitely got the touch when it comes to fishing. This is Grant. <laughs> Grant and I have just become very good friends. How are you, mate? All right, how you going? Nice to <laughs> meet you. So, now, I didn't know, but these uh, these cod are actually uh, protected species in New South Wales. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well. Because yeah. we catch uh, them hand over fist in Queensland. I didn't you know. even eat them. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But they're, uh, what, $3,000 fine for taking one Something of those? Something like that. <laughs> is that right? Now, you're a, uh, you're a local here at Evans Head. Nelly, yeah. Yeah? How long have you been here? Oh, my dad bought a block of land over here back in the 70s and uh, we used to have a marine shop in Lismore and panel boating and spray painting and uh, I love me fishing. Well mate, I can <laughs> tell and you're very good at it. I'll let you get that cod back in the water <laughs> and then he's going to show us how to catch some of the biggest brim you've ever seen. Evans Head is a fishing mad town, perched on the mouth of the Evans River and for these local fellas, this is a daily ritual of fishing and fellowship. Uh, fishing here is not real good. It's not? No, it's terrible. Uh -huh. yeah. And if you take go swimming out along the beach, the sharks come and feed on you. And if you go around the headlands, the bloody death at it and the brown snakes will want to bite you. In an afternoon, if you come down here, the mosquitoes and bloody sand flies bite you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. hey? He does, does a lot of work for tourism in the region, doesn't he? Yeah. Hey? He, knows, he knows what it's about. Don't worry about that. Locals only, this spot. <laughs> Evans Head is also famous for its caravan park, one of the largest in the country with close to 600 sites and the location could not be any better. Nor could my accommodation on this trip. We're travelling in the Jayco Journey outback from Brisbane Camperland. It's a luxurious way to spend a few days at the beach. The large queen size bed, fridge and ensuite mean there's plenty of room for Karen and I to enjoy some quality time in a really special place. This is Jayco Journey's Outback model. Now the word Outback might conjure up some sort of scene of roughing it. Take a look around me. We've got shower and ensuite, large fridge. There's even a washing machine in this thing. You will not want for anything in the Jayco Journey Outback. Life really is about making memories. And I've got no doubt that this caravanning life that people talk about gives you plenty of scope to meet blokes like Grant and his mates down at the jetty. Grant's now sent me a few photos since I got back of some of his bigger catches around Evans Head, but he told me not to tell too many people about it, so we'll just keep that between you and I. <laughs> Reflections Holiday Park is on the beach at Evans Head. The Jayco Journey is available from Brisbane Camperland.